Greetings, travelers. How are you doing? Uh, I was pointed to a deck made by Frozen uh, and Lutherino Lock deck, which brought him to the number one legend spot on the ladder in America. So the deck is a bit um, harder to master than some other decks, but it's definitely worth it. We are going against the Paladin here. Uh, in most cases, that's either a Control Paladin or the Divine Shield Paladin. We're definitely keeping the Doomsayer. Uh, if it's an Echo Paladin, we might want to keep the Reno Jackson as well. That is, I guess we can still keep it, even though uh, if he's playing Control, then he will be slow as hell. So it doesn't matter if we have it on the hand. Better to be prepared with the Reno than not. It's also possible that he's playing a Murloc deck. So a Knife Juggler. We might want to drop the Doomsayer right away here. Not getting in, into any trouble with the Knife Juggler. Just hitting the face for two, and the Napchagla hits another one for three damage there. Lord Raxus, we are just using the life tap, getting a refreshment vendor. That one will be played next turn. The light protects me. And a squire, so that's most definitely uh, aqua deck. Yes, it is. We will use a lot of Divine Shield minions and buff them with various um, spells and weapons. Let's play the Refreshment Vendor here. We're getting 4 life back at 29. We should be in a good position with the Reno Jackson in hand. And also we have the Twisting Nether if the board's getting too overwhelmed. We have the Kodo, so we want one of these threes to die. And we need to kill the Ooth in this way first. And let's hope the Kodo will hit a good target, like the Divine Shield minion. Otherwise, I would have preferred the Direwolf Alpha and the Sword of Justice. Also playing the Blessing of Might. Put out more damage. We are already at 11. So let's see if we want to play the Reno Jackson right away. He only has two cards in hand. We need to kill the Direwolf Alpha here. We can do it with the Refreshment Vendor. Then kill the Flame Juggler. So that means he has two damage on the board right now. Can play the reinforce. It's unlikely that he will do uh, 11 damage. So we will wait one turn and drop the Emperor for now. It's a bit risky, but uh, he can't put out so much damage with three cards. That's a horse rider. That's five. And the Divine Favor will draw him a lot of cards. Five, exactly. So this will bring us to six. We can't play the Shadow Bolt. Uh, we will only play the Reno and draw another card. It's a Twilight Raid? A Twilight, Twilight Rake. So let's play the Reno. We can also play the Possessed Villager for free. Getting rid of the Bilifin. 
And also we are popping the divine shield. So the emperor will reduce the mana cost. We now play the Ragnaros for six. Not on my watch. Vector gives him another divine shield. And salty deckhand. Wow, still going strong to the face. Pretty sick. Pretty sick. So the Twisting Nether is a viable option here. Of course we have a strong board, but his one is great as well. And he has two Divine Shield minions on the board. Now let's see. The Horse Rider will die to the Shadow Bolt. And we will also play the Defender of Argus. My seal for Argus. How much? Oh, yeah. so we are also drawing another card and getting a Hellfire. Some heavy aggro deck. At least the Reno survives, so he needs to pop up the Divine Shield. And now we are in a good position, we can drop the Hellfire. And then play the Twilight Drake. We're not drawing another card. Because we are at 16, and um, as he's playing the deck, he's going to the face all the time. Also the in-game boss and we are killing his minion. No need to, uh, to go to the face in this situation. If he has too many minions on the board he will buff them again and then we are down. So also playing Harrison Jones, interesting. Death and Zeus. We didn't play that many death rattle minions. So in fact it only should be the possessed villager, the Enzus is not worth it right now. So many Let's drop the Sylvanas. No and I guess he will kill the Harrison Jones. And hopefully the Ragnaros will hit one of his minions. There's still the 2-2 on the board. Another divine favor, he is down to 6 cards in the deck. Oh, that's a land, that one will die to the ooze. Not getting his effect. And also buffing his minion, wow. So we can heal it with the Sylvanas. Let none survive. Killing the weapon. And we are also playing the Lord Jaraxxus. To get more life. And he's giving up. And another game, this time it's a shaman. 
We definitely want the Wino Jackson. Uh, no need for the power over overwhelming here. And the Exidic Swamp Ooze is great if he's dropping the Doomsayer. That's a Doom Hammer, of course. He's not playing anything on turn one. Uh, we could play the ooze here, but in general, you want to keep it. Starting the game with a totem, that's the one one. So we can play the power golem here. Never told him this shaman is pretty pretty slow. Let's just draw another card. Uh, Emperor and play the possessed villager. We are killing his taunt. Dropping the thing from below. And we can easily kill it with the power overwhelming. Uh, it's another good option. Guess not. We are still using the life tap here. It's a mortal coil and power overwhelming, so the thing from below is gone. With so many cards in hand, next turn the Emperor is pretty good. He's playing far side. Wow. Long time no seen. And only another totem. So we can easily drop the Emperor and also kill the spell damage totem. Stormcrack. Ah, so it's a control chairman. This might be fun. Uh, how much cards do we have in hand here? Four, six, eight, nine. So let's draw another one. It's Lord Shiraxus. We are killing the the spell damage totem with the Kodo, so that we don't have too many cards in hand. And we can also play the Dark Peddler. Or will we save it for now? He has 9 cards in hand, so there should be a Lightning Storm ready. Let's keep the Peddler for now. Play a card. That's a coin into nothing. Okay. Good to know. Good to know. If he has the lightning storm, you also can have the bigger spell that will deal a five to four damage. So we shouldn't play too much. Uh, we can play the Defender of Argus. That uh, will bring this Tempeting Code out of reach for the spell. Yeah, that's that's a good idea. Let's play it. Kill the Town Dominion and fall to the face. Not using the Life Tap for sure. Because we already are at 9 cards. Hound Elemental. 
Interesting. And also he is resummoning it with the ancestral spirit. The lava shock will kill the defender of Argus. So with nine mana we can just um, play the Sylvanas and the Shadow Flame. So we are stealing the Earth Elemental and also have another Earth Elemental after this one is dying. Oh, that's a pretty good move. No Thanks for the minion. And seven more to the face. So even if he's killing the board, we get the 7-8 Earth Elemental on the board. And it doesn't look too good. Xing it. Oh, a bit afraid there. And the healing wave will bring him back to... Ah, only 7 life for him. 22. Play the mortal coil, get another card, that's the demon rep. And hit him for seven more. Let's see, we need to play a minion. Might be wise to play the Jaraxxus now. There's six cards in hand. Unlikely that he can hit us for 15 and we have still three towns on the board so he needs to clear them first. Another healing wave. And this time, oh, another earth elemental. This time he's getting a 14 life back. Just keep on going to hit the face. Interesting that deck that he's playing. Another far side. I think from below. Now let's see how much damage do we have here. That's 10, 13, 16. The thing from below can easily die. If we are getting something good with the Dark Peddler, we might win the game. Ah, uh, that's corruption. Won't help us. Take the Elf Archer. And kill the thing from below. Can't kill him though, but we are killing the spell damage totem. Also getting another minion and we have a full board. He has a hollow zeal and then the uh, elemental destruction, right? So he's getting a lot of health back. But still, we have four minutes on the board. That's a lava shock. Let's kill the hollow seal. Get another minion. Also, we are dropping the blood off here. Hit him for 13 and still down to 17. I get that should be it. Already played both uh, healing waves, the Halazil. Yes, 
playing the Faceless Manipulator and the Lightning Storm. So we can't kill him here, but we will uh, silence the Blood Huff. Kill it and hit more to the face. Also, the imp gang boss is good. Going to cards. Six mana left. And I guess that should be it. Don't think that he can do much here. We have the Siphon Soul to kill a minion if he's getting the Earth Elemental. That's another Lightning Storm. We're getting a minion of Blood Huff. And also the Imp Gang boss will spawn another one. Ah, uh, great. He's stretching it really, really long. So let's just play the Enthus. So giving up another victory. GG. If you have enjoyed the video, don't forget to subscribe and check out my other content as well. You can also follow me on Twitter and Twitch as well as supporting me on Patreon.com. Thanks for watching the video and see you soon.